Hello everyone, good time. The title of this paper is Investigation into the Instability and Collapse Behavior of Cable Stiffen Single Layer Lattice Bar Vault with Different Forms of Out of Plan Cable. Author by Prof. Karim Abedi, PhD student Muhammad Hussein Matimpur and Assistant Prof. Behzad Eshikastaban. In this study, the instability and collapse behavior of single layer lattice pair wall have been investigated by using new different forms of out of plane cables. The appropriate form is chosen by evaluating the nonlinear finite element analysis results, considering the collapse load, minimum amount of cables used, and simplicity of construction. Using precise cables, in quadrilateral grids of single layer lattice structure can be very effective for increasing stiffness, stability and load carrying capacity of system. This new type of space structure is named Cable Stiffened Single Layer Lattice Shell, which was proposed by Schleich and Schubert. Rank purpose the new form of out of plane cables by this form. The study model have been considered in three spans of 25 meter, 50 meter, and 100 meter, with the same length to span ratio and with quadrilateral grids of 10 by 10, 14 by 14, and by 20 by 20 respectively. Rise to span ratio is 0.2 for all models. Schematic forms of cables, including model M1, is a single layer lattice bar vault without out of plan cables. Model M2 is similar to model M1, except that all modes at each of the four aids are considered as pin supports. Model M3 is barrel vault stiffened by X-shape out of plan cables in transverse direction, and Model M4 a combination of X-shape out of plan cables in transverse direction and out of plan cables in longitudinal direction. Model M5 is similar to Model M4, except with selected pin supports in all four aids. Model M6 is an out of plane cable stress system according to Zhang's purpose form. Model M7 is obtained by modifying the form of the Model M6. This modified model is an attempt to eliminate the possible weakness in Model M6 by changing the arrangement of out of plane cables. And finally, Model M8 out of plane cables are used in diagonal direction of barrel wall. Conventional loads such as deed, snow wind, and earthquake loads are calculated and applied to models. Due to nonlinear behavior of cable elements, geometric nonlinear static analysis was carried out in SAP software. 24 models with Asian specification were analyzed and designed under load combination according to allowable string design method. The cross-sectional area and amount of pre-stressing in cables have been selected in the design process so that the slackening is not happened in of the cables under load combination. Geometric characteristics of design models is shown at this table. Finite element modeling. Nonlinear finite element analysis including geometric and material nonlinearity is used to investigate the instability and collapse behavior of selected models. All the analyses are carried out using Abaco software. The cable slackens when it goes into compression, thus tension-only truss element is used to simulate the behavior of cable elements. No negative eigenvalue were obtained in analysis process of all models before collapse loads. Therefore, in the instability analysis carried out in the present study, only limit point instability was occurred. Numerical results in stability and collapse behavior. After performing nonlinear analysis in all models, the load per personal factor displacement response curves have been extracted based on symmetric and asymmetric snow loading pattern. As it can be seen, the collapse mechanisms are of the overall collapse type in all models, except for models M2 and M5 in symmetric loading which is of the local collapse without a snap throw type span length 50 meter and span length 100 meter to describe how the local collapse without a snap throw mechanism is formed the state of model m5 with span length of 50 meter under asymmetric loading at the collapse load level as shown after the first and second set of cable are slackened or ruptured the structure shows more softening behavior the structure is able to carry another additional load until the second set of cable is slackened then the second set of cable reach to a state of rupture and remaining structure cannot carry 
the redistribution of forces due to the rupturing and slackening of the second set of cable. Therefore, local collapse without snap through leads to overall collapse. Effect of different form of out of plan cables. The ratio of the load per personal factor of all models to the load per personal factor of model M1 are calculated and given at this table. As shown, the load per personal factor ratio for model M3 and M4 show a slight difference. The load per personal factor of model M7 is, in any case, higher than that of model M6, and model M8 has less load carrying capacity than our model. Effect of strut length. The strut length to span ratio of models with span length of 25 meter, 50 meter, and 100 meter are 0 0.06, 0 0.048, and 0 0.035, respectively. For all values of strut length to span ratio, an increases in collapse load can be observed in all models. In the asymmetric loading, the effects of out of plane cable in increasing the collapse load of model is more evident. The collapse load of model M3 and M4 are similar, but the collapse load of model M7 is higher than that of model M6. Conclusion. In most models, the collapse mechanisms were the overall collapse type, and in some model, collapse mechanisms were the local collapse without the snap throw type. Therefore, the results of nonlinear static analysis were sufficient to determine the collapse loads. With increasing the strut length to span length ratios, the effect of out of plane cables and their form on increasing the stiffness and collapse load of all models became considerable. Using the out of plane cables in the longitudinal direction of single layer lattice power vault has a negligible effect on the instability behavior of this structure. Modifying the form of out of plane cable in Zhang purpose form has been effective in improving the instability behavior. The out of plane cables can be most effective in stiffening the system when the cables are in the transverse direction of the structure. Model M4 only has the highest collapse load and Model M7 with the least amount of cable and simplicity of construction has the most appropriate behavior. The effect of the out of plane cables in the improvement of stability behavior is considerable in the asymmetric loading case in comparison with the symmetric loading case. Thank you for your attention.